All right, what's up, my beautiful people out there, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram land? It's your boy Rome back with another video. So, here we go. I purchased a desktop tripod a while back from uh, Amazon and it was rated pretty well uh, the weight capacity for what it was but I think my rig has outgrown grown it uh oh here comes my buddy you know we really need to get your nails done okay so anyway so recently um, I was out on a shoot and one of the legs collapsed. Anyway, so what other people were saying about that specific uh, tripod was they were all having the same problem. So I took a look at a number of different ones that were not super uber expensive because the original tripod, I think when I purchased it, it was about $11 or something like that. And it was always supposedly comparable to the Zion Crane um, tabletop tripod which is very very rugged if it's able to support the weight of the crane plus a camera that's what I was looking for something along the lines of that type of uh, weight capacity but needless to say that didn't work out so I have replaced it with what you have see here in the box and this tripod is from small rig now it comes with a little small um, Allen key and I guess that's to adjust the legs if you need to this is a very simple unboxing guys that's all it is the foam that's inside of the box there's literally nothing else in the box so why did I choose this specific tripod now let me tell you just off the top I can feel the quality of the metal this is made from this is a very well-made tripod. Now, supposedly, according to everything that I've read, the base of this tripod can support up to 44 pounds, which is you know, exceptionally well. Now, you can adjust the leg placement. And what I'm going to do with it if, is to remove the head because Basically, what I've decided to do is to turn this into two different devices. So this component here, the tripod base itself, the tabletop tripod, I'm going to use this for the base of my B-Rig. And that allows it to sit, you know, low. So basically what this will do is this will allow me to set the um, B-Rig with the mat box and the other components very low on a tabletop or at some other point I can also add a different head to this but what I'm going to do with this specific head is that I'm going to use this to connect to my Ninja V which will then give me the flexibility to rotate it and move it in different directions as needed depending on where I want it placed on the rig itself so let's take a look at that and I'll show you exactly what I have in mind all right guys, so as you see here, I've been using this um, small pistol grip as the base for the back legs. The rig has um, two padded handles in the front. So what I'm going to do is these, these, both of these handles, they retract. So what I really want is this to be as close to, you know, tabletop level as possible. So that's what I'm going to be working on right now. So I'm gonna detach this handle now, most of the time, these handles will not be an issue or probably even on the rig itself. I just have them on the rig from a shoot that I did last night where I was out at a restaurant doing a, a, photo sh I mean, a video production and I needed handles to be able to uh, hang on to the rig itself. So let me adjust these back down real quick. And we're gonna tilt this. 
And I'm just going to attach this right here to this point right here, guys. Should go in there pretty easily. Very nice fit. Okay. And then I can extend the legs. And boom. There you go. So now the rig is able to sit down and then the handles themselves are, like I said, pulled out of the way. But most of the time, I wouldn't even have these handles on. I would just, you know, remove these. And it's just one little bolt right here and these just slide right off. So if I'm not even using the handles, that's not gonna be an issue whatsoever. But I can tell you already, this is extremely stable. I can feel um, the way it's, there's no flex in this whatsoever. Okay, so like I said, part two was going to be replacing the placement for the Ninja V. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I have a ball head, ball head mount that is attached here to the Ninja V. And I'm just gonna take the Ninja V off here. So what I wanna do here, so I'm gonna take this part off. And I have this locked down pretty good, so I may need this. Break it. There we go. So, ooh, that was pretty close. We almost had a problem. So the only thing that I need from this part of the unit is going to be this piece here. So what that allows me to do is to make contact here, connect this, and this is going to connect like so. Hopefully you guys can see this. And this will allow me to connect this to this coal shoe. I haven't screwed it down too far. Put that on the coal shoe. Then I can lock that down. And you see this spins pretty freely, as you can see here, until you um, get it on there tight. All right, so as you see here, once this is tight, you can still rotate. And then you can also adjust you know, the head placement. That itself is not gonna be a big deal because I want that to be pretty level, obviously. So let's drop those down here. And then we have our quick release plate. So the quick release plate is what I will attach um, to the Ninja V. And that will give me the ability to quickly remove the Ninja V and then place it on another device if need be or something like that. Because on occasion I will have both my um, Zion Crane as well as my um, oh, okay and you see that just locks in place so now well I should have tightened that down but you get the idea now I can rotate this in different directions so what another option that I could do and let's see what that would look like so if I detach the microphone and then detach the Ninja V which I need to tighten down the base I could then place this up here so that's going to give us a little bit more clearance so let's loosen that up now we can place this into the coal shoe and then lock that down and tighten down the base and at that point we can then put our monitor up top where we really want it anyway 
So then the microphone would sit here, the monitor would be above it, and there would be no um, problems with the monitor crashing into the microphone like I'd had before with some of the other monitor mounts. So basically what I've done so far is I've taken apart a small rig um, tabletop tripod and I've broken the components into obviously and what I've done is use one part of the component as a tabletop tripod base and the other part I'm using for the most part as my monitor mount so I can just drop that in lock that down and now the monitor still rotates so I could plug that monitor back in and if I need the monitor to be facing you know maybe to the side for some reason or if I wanted it to be facing in the opposite direction, no problem. Or even if I wanted the monitor to be facing me, you know, if I was recording something like that, that's not going to be an issue. So, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, finding exactly where you want to place it and then rotating it around to getting it to that point. And then, like I said, the other thing that I would do at this point would be to attach the microphone here. And that microphone would just sit right there. If I lock it down. All right. So at that point, the microphone is in its new home. The monitor is here up top. To release it, all I have to do is release, release this little tab. And then I can let it you know, freely rotate. Or I can leave a little tension on it so I don't have to worry about the cable or something pulling it. But it'll still give it the freedom to move around wherever I need the monitor to be. So if I want the monitor here, I can just lock that in place. So I'm not worried about it moving for any reason. And it's not creating any extra tension on the cable. Plus this uh, small rig, rig cage does have uh, cable locks. So I'm not worried that much about it producing a lot of tension on that. But if it did become a problem, then I could always slide this handle a little bit further back and we're good to go. All right, guys, so like I said, I wanna do a really quick video to show you guys exactly what I've done so far with this and the, uh, I think it was a $45 investment for the uh, Ninja, I'm sorry, for the small rig tabletop tripod. And so far it looks like it's going to be very, very beneficial. But after looking at the cable, I think definitely what I'm going to do is I'm gonna flip the, let me see, I might be able to do that right here. I could just flip the handle. And then, after adjusting it, tighten it down a little bit, then it'll be no problem to rotate the monitor to exactly where I need it. So, that's pretty much it guys. That's it in a nutshell. So we have our new um, tabletop base. It's gonna make it easier for transporting and moving this camera around. And now we have our new placement for our monitor. Everything is feels a lot more robust. So I'm very, very happy with this. I wish I'd have had this last night when I was doing that little shoot because I was always feeling like something was just out of place or didn't feel comfortable or I was worried about something falling off. But I'm really, really digging this. So again, I just want to do, like I said, a quick video. So hopefully this guy, these little videos will help someone who has a question about these things. So if that is you and this video helped you, leave a comment down below letting me know how you're going to be moving forward on your gear. But until the next video, guys, it's your guy, Rome. I will catch you fools in the next video. Peace. I'm out.